So you think the original Bible is in Koine Greek? Yeah. You really believe that? The New Testament, yeah. What, lang what was the language of Jesus? I don't believe he spoke. I spoke really any language he wanted to speak. But he... No, no, don't tell me what you think. Tell me what Jesus spoke. I believe he spoke Greek and Aramaic. Where's the evidence he spoke Greek? Where's the evidence in the Greek? It's because when he was crucified, yeah. the Romans put above um, his cross or alongside his cross the description of what he'd done in his name in the three languages that were used, right. which is Roman, Latin and Greek. What does that got to do with Jesus? I'm just kidding. Can I finish your question? Sure, sure. Right. You asked well. me where my evidence is? Yeah. Obviously, I didn't live then, so belief. Belief is based on lots of things, isn't it? You know, you yes, your wife yes. loves you. You don't know she does, but you believe she does. I believe this, and this is how I, be how I believe it. So they took the time to write the three, the description of in them three languages, not in Aramaic. The Jews at the time, 200 years before this, because Hebrew wasn't much spoken of in this area, decided to translate the Old Testament into Greek as well, because Greek was like English today. I asked you what did Jesus speak? I didn't ask you what was common. So he spoke to his disciples who were all Hebrew in Greek. Really? Yes. Does that make sense to you? Yes, because that area... So let me ask you this. You know the Buckingham Palace? Outside yeah. the Buckingham Palace, they've got signs in Spanish, in English, in French, in other languages. Does the Queen speak all those languages just because it's a sign outside a palace? Obviously not. I'm not. The fact is that most of his disciples were Hebrew and they used to... Most of them are Hebrew, yeah, yeah. Most of the uh, Jewish people and they used to have this local dialect. I don't think they spoke Greek. Yes, maybe they might have spoken some other people. But you know, most of those people, they were not even learned. Peter and John, it says in that, they were unlearned. Exactly. In a Greek now, area. Now, yeah, how, will you, how will you explain the Gospel of John, which is written in perfect Koine Greek? Yeah. There's no other evidence of any other manuscripts. Yeah. If I believe he spoke Greek. No, wait a minute. Wait. He was a fisherman, unlearned. Yeah, yes? he spoke the local language. So if he didn't know how to write, who wrote the Bible for him? Well, you're saying he didn't know how to write. I, where did it say he doesn't know how to write? In, um, it, I'll bring it. It says Peter and John. They were un un unlearned. Unlearned. It doesn't mean that they can't speak or write it, the language. It says they were ignorant as well. Yeah, but it still doesn't say he doesn't speak or uh, write the language down. So you're saying if somebody's not learned, they can actually write Shakespeare? I'm not learned. I didn't say can Shakespeare. You write Why would you tell a lie to try and prove a point? It's not a lie. It's... Shakespeare's oh got to be God. one of the largest things in English literature to study. And you're comparing this to someone who's not learned. I don't think you understand the logic I'm trying to put forward. Nothing a lie. It's, if you listen to me... If you're not learned, listen, listen. Not, no, you're not controlling everything. If you're not learned, does not mean you cannot write. Okay. First and foremost, you're getting defensive. I don't know why. The reason I ask you, you're if, you're, if you stop and listen, maybe you'll understand. I'm talking about, you didn't say them words, you're saying that I'm saying things and can't back them up, and you're saying things and you can't okay. back if them up. If you listen to me, maybe I'm you'll understand this time. Okay, because you're looking for a reaction. No, okay, no, there's no, no need I'm for that. For yeah, if you get defensive, that's what happens. If someone hasn't been to school, hasn't been to university or college, Hear me out. No, no, I've got to interrupt you. Because you're bringing up serious. Do you think any of those people You know, your problem is you don't want to listen. Do you think any of them went to school? Hear me out. Do you honestly believe Hear me any out. of them went to school? Hear me out. Do you believe Hear they me out and then you'll learn. Yes, if you will wait for an answer, you'll get you, that's a simple First, you need to wait for the speech. answer. Let me finish. You like you Let, me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. And then you'll understand. You're very impatient, my friend. I am, yeah. Yes, try to have patience. Okay? If only someone only. didn't go to university, college, and they had no knowledge about the grammar, the syntax, the structure of English literature, can they produce a book like Shakespeare? A hundred percent not. Thank you very much. Finally, you understood the logic. Okay. Have you understood the logic now? Yeah, but you, not your logic to go back to Jesus Christ. Time. Okay, now let Jesus me connect it with that. Wait, wait. John says he's unlearned. You said. Yeah. Right. Does not say he cannot. I didn't say John says it's written in the Book of Acts somewhere. Okay. Now that you have agreed that no one can, no one who is unlearned can produce a, a book like Shakespeare's, then you need to connect that with the perfect coin Greek in your Bible to that of this fisherman. Here's a, here's a verse in Acts chapter 4 verse 13. It says, Now when they saw the, bol uh, the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them and they had been with Jesus. So these people were with Jesus. Pardon? Yes. These people, they were yes, with yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Now people perceive they were ignorant and unlearned because of them being fishermen or whatever that it's is. That verse says that they, knowing them to be unlearned yeah. and unknowledgeable. And were, ignorant. And ignorant. Yes. Unknowledgeable, ignorant. Let's talk people to dance the Unlearned and right. ignorant. Right. Not unknowledgeable. Right. They, I don't think that's knowing them to be that, yeah. were shocked that how they were now speaking differently and that was proof that they were with Jesus Christ. That's what the verse is saying. Speaking differently. Where does it say speaking well, differently? Read the verse and you'll understand it. Oh, okay. It says here, 
uh, they marvelled and they took Marvel. knowledge of them and they had been with Jesus. Yes. They marvelled because these ignorant people, unlearned, they marvelled that they suddenly thought, oh, this, this person who knows nothing, he's, he's whatever. And now all of a sudden he's speaking these wise words and these wise things. That must be proof of something miraculous happening. And that was because they lived with Jesus Christ and learned okay. from him. First and foremost, let me tell you that just because somebody is unlearned, doesn't mean they are not wise. In fact, most of the most of the ancient people who were wise, most of them, I think, were unlearned. They didn't go to school I and colleges. Was, I agree with you. Okay. I said that from the start. So yeah, what, I think what you are talking about and what I'm talking about is completely different. I'm talking about the writing. You're talking about the wisdom. Two about different things. Thing. You were trying to make out that John couldn't have written what he wrote because he was unlearned, ignorant, whatever. He didn't go to school. I'm saying to you, there's nothing in the Bible that indicates that John could not write in any way, shape or form. And you're going to the verse in Acts to try and bring up that he couldn't write. Okay, this is not... doesn't mean he does not write. So what you're saying is that John, who was a fisherman, could write perfect Greek? Quite any Greek, yeah. What is the evidence for that? Well, he wrote John. <laughs> how do you know they wrote John? Because he's in the... Because the he didn't say by John, he says according to John. So how do you know... He wrote, how, do you know how do you know John wrote it? He doesn't say according to John. No, I... It says... You just said it earlier, it is on camera. It's no, saying the gospels according, according to Mark. According to. Exactly. Yeah. So according but to John, right? It in the Bible, does it? Good. So how do you know John wrote it then? Right. There's nothing in the Bible that says John wrote John. So you have no evidence then? Nothing in the Bible. So it's just says, speculation. There's nothing in the Bible. Yeah. God doesn't want us to know who wrote John. Good. So it's speculation. But I'm not about one John, two John, or three John. I want about the gospel. So it's possible John didn't write it. I believe he did, but say he didn't write. Yeah. Okay. So if John didn't write it, who wrote it? I believe John wrote it. No. But is there evidence for that? I am good. So you're saying it's speculation. Yeah.